This video is going to show you in depth the stuff that you can do on the classwork tab when you create either an assignment or a quiz assignment. Let's look at the quiz assignment first. This is the one that automatically creates a blank quiz for you. So uh, think worksheets where you'd ask a question and then they would give an answer. Uh, this is where you could do that. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a title for, for this. So I'll say uh, math lesson one. That's going to be my title. I'm going to give the instructions that say complete and submit the form. That gives the student detailed instructions on what they are required to do. Uh, so then I'm going to go into my blank quiz here. This will open it up in a new tab. And this will allow me to work with my quiz. If you're not familiar with Google Forms, it's pretty straightforward. Every question has an opportunity for a question up here and then answers, but you can also change what you're looking for. Change the type of question that is here. Uh, multiple choice is they pick an option from down here. A short answer, they type it in into a short box. A paragraph, they type it into a big box. Check boxes can be more than one answer, so it would be like select three of the following or select all that apply. And then drop down would be a, a hidden list of answers. They'd click it and choose the one out of the drop down. A file upload would require them to upload a file uh, to be able to answer this question. And then these ones get pretty fancy down here, linear scale, multiple choice grid, checkbox grid. Uh, the most of what you're going to be doing are these top five options. Uh, same with the date and time. These are good for other types of forms, not so much quizzes. Uh, so the top five are pretty much what you'll be sticking with. So uh, I'll stay with the multiple choice. I'm going to give my quiz a title here. Uh, this is math lesson one. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in my first question. What is two plus two? I'm going to give it options. And so one of my options will be three. If I want to add an option, I just click right here over add an option. And then I'll put in my next answer. Add an option or add an option. Notice I'm not adding other. Other is a... a separate option and it requires them to type in their answer. That's what that other does. So if I do it, there's other. I can't type in other because this is an option that would allow them to give an answer other than what is provided. So I'm actually going to get rid of that. I don't want that as part of it. Um, so this is a quiz, which Google quizzes when built in forms, they can auto grade. So I just need to make an answer key now. So I'm going to go here for this answer key. I'm going to assign it a number of points. This is worth one point. And I am going to choose the correct answer, what is 2 plus 2, as 4, and click Done. And so my answer key there lets me know that I've done the answer. I know that it's going to auto-grade that and give them one point if they get it right. Some options at the bottom of this here. I would suggest uh, toggling to make it required if you want it to be required. Uh, this little trash can will delete this question, and this one will duplicate it. If you're going to do the same types of questions, uh, maybe duplicating it is, is your best choice there. If you're going to do a different type of question, over here is where your friend is for that. You can add a question. Uh, you can import questions from another source. You can add a title and description. Maybe you have multiple sections to your quiz. Uh, you can add an image or a video right from YouTube. Uh, and then you can also add a section so that they only see this chunk right now, and then they'll see another chunk of it uh, when they're done with that first section. So I'm going to go ahead and add another question to this. I'm going to choose a different option here, though, and I'm going to choose checkboxes so that you see that this just changes from a circle, which indicates I can only choose one of these, to a, a checkbox, which means I can choose as many of these as I want. I'll show you what the drop-down looks like there. I'll just type in the options of it here. Uh, and then that will hide it in a drop-down menu. This doesn't give you the opportunity to do other, so that's the big difference between drop-down and multiple choice. And then paragraph gives a spot for a long answer, and short answer gives a shorter line for in, to indicate a short answer. So uh, when you're all done with this, um, I'll go ahead and go back a tab here to my blank quiz. Uh, it's still named blank quiz, even though I named it math lesson one. If I want it to be math lesson one, I just click up here where it says blank quiz and type in what I want the quiz to be titled, math lesson one. So then when I come back here, 
uh, and I'll go ahead and assign this. Uh, this will have that quiz attached, and so students will know that that's what they have to do uh, for, for this. And there's my math lesson one. Uh, this one's still grayed out because it's not actually assigned yet. It's scheduled. Uh, that's just my math lesson one.